which part of the Ariane launcher can withstand the highest temperatures. It's the nozzle of the boosters. Nearly four meters long and with a mass of six tons, it works on the physics principle of action-reaction. Much like a pressure cooker, it expels hot gas under pressure, thereby transforming thermal energy into kinetic energy. In other words, temperature into velocity. The convergence section initiates the acceleration of the gas. The gas then arrives at the throat, which as it narrows increases the pressure of the gas. Here, the gas reaches, but does not exceed, the speed of sound. When it emerges through the wider divergence section, its speed increases even further to exceed the speed of sound. The material used to build a nozzle depends on the level of stress, which is greater near the throat and weaker at the nozzle exit. Because the gas released by the combustion of fuel gets as hot as 3,500 degrees, thermal structural materials must be used to withstand extremely high temperatures and erosion. Generally, carbon-carbon is used for the narrowest section, the throat. 3,500 degrees Celsius. Can you imagine? That's much greater than the melting point of lava, which is only between 700 and 1,200 degrees.